Hey Edward, how's it going? It's nice to see you. I like your setup here. Again, few things better than, than just a tee and a ball. So let's hop right into this. How these work is we'll point out stuff that we like and some stuff that we could see some improvement on. So as we go, we'll hop right into our swing. So as we're here, to start off, one thing I would love to see is if we could just get a little bit lower. This is a little too straight, so if we could sit, maybe get a little bit lower. Not sit, but pretend that we're sitting. Just to get more of that base, more of that athletic stance. And also, while we're in this frame, this bat, if we could get it off of our shoulders, because by the time if you decide to swing, it's going to be that much slower and that much harder for you getting it off your shoulders. Same thing for your hands. We would love to see that your hands also go back a little bit too. So let's go a little bit further as we get into this. We're going, we're going, we're going. So right here, as you decide to swing, right? Your front foot goes and turns, but take a look where your bat is. It's still up there by the shoulder. So again, we want to see your hands back and your bat back. Because, you know, say this is a strike, and by the time that you do decide to swing, your bat path will be almost too too loopy, right? So we want to be, instead of loopy, we want to be nice and direct, right back. So let's go further into our swing. And again, if you do that with the bat, our hands will follow because take a look at this. It, it looks like you're, you're a little too jammed. And with that, we want to have more power. So as we go a little bit further at the contact, this is one of the things I wanted to point out. That's a great job, Edward. You got your head right on that ball. You're watching it the whole way right into the strike zone. So we go. We have contact. So there's a lot. Of, of power here but we can get even more we want to channel that right so we we hit and it, the follow-through goes all the way but take a look at the body right we we want to improve on that rather than wrapping around and um having it be back see how your body kind of twists like that back we want it to be once you make contact we want our weight to be going this way forward rather than again wrapping it back around so for next week some of the things how about two things i'd like to, to see you improve on one is have that hat that hand and the bat back ready to load and as you swing and come through let's work on that weight going this way rather than wrapping around so to quickly summarize again, more of a direct path with the bat, have it back and go through, and we use our weight to go forward. And if you do those two things, Edward, I'm sure we're going we're gonna to see some improvement down the road. So it's nice to see you. Hope all is well. And I look forward to your video next week. Thanks.